Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are, my name is Pankaj Thingra, a proud fin trammer and and your faculty for CPA exam. Now, now my friend, we have guys. I'm getting some some uh, comments that you are not able to hear me rightfully. Can you please confirm that you are able to hear me rightfully? Can somebody please come on the chat and confirm that you are able to hear me rightfully, please? All right. Thank you, Akriti. Thanks for that. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, you know, but some of, somehow I'm getting the comment as if, you know, you're not able to hear me rightfully. All right, we'll start from here. Hi, future CPAs. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Dhingra, and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Welcome. Welcome, friends. Welcome to the US CPA course curriculum orientation for the 2024 and onwards in terms of the years to come. We would be capturing, my friend, what has been the recent changes in terms of, you know, what has really happened onto the curriculum front and how the curriculum of US CPA is right now looking right. Bahaan saare bachche chinte the US CPA ke 2024 ko, you know, ke curriculum ko leke. And that is the reason, my friend, we thought that it is all the more imperative and important for us to be here and talk on ki wo curriculum ab hai kya. The coming 45 minutes or so, what we would be doing is that we would be deep diving, deep diving into the content, into the curriculum as to what US CPA really offers now as far as the course content is concerned. What we would try to do over there is that I really want you to deep dive into the content ki uske andar bache hai kya, content mis, well, pehle to hum baat karenge, subjects kaun kaun se hai, curriculum mein exactly hai kya, and then we'll deep dive into each and every subject to understand ki us subject mein aapko padna kya padega. Many of the, you know, students, who, you know, whether from the, from the C fraternity world or from the, you know, the people who have done the BCom and have been working in various corporates, they are very much eager to understand ki sir, jo naya curriculum aaya hai, how does that really align? Align to what we are doing right now or we would be doing, you know, as we go into any corporate, how does that really align? And considering that, hume aaj kis cheez ki tiyari karne, hume kis cheez ki baare mein pata hona chahiye, or of course, you know, since now the choices have come up in the curriculum because there are few discipline subjects out of which you have to choose, what would be the relevant choices? That is going to be the agenda, my friend, and we will be talking on many of these aspects in terms of, you know, getting on to the details, just to make sure that today we will be 45 minutes ke baad aur, aur sara educated ho ke nikle. Does that sound like a plan? Yes, sir. If that sounds like a plan, then I just request you to go and subscribe to our channel, Fintram Global, just to make sure that these informative videos are being received by you as soon as possible in terms of the day of release. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Should we move on? Yes, sir. All righty. I have the CPA course curriculum for 2024 as a discussion topic for me. And what I have in the agenda is as follows. What we will be, you know, of course, getting on and of course, deep diving on is that we will, of course, touch upon the curriculum in terms of, you know, understanding as to what the 2024 curriculum really offers. And then we will talk about the exam pattern. Ke किस तरह ये सब्जेक्ट समझ में आते हैं कि ये सब्जेक्ट्स हैं इन सब्जेक्ट के एग्जाम पैटर्न क्या होने वाला है इसमें क्वेश्चंस किस तरह के होने वाले हैं उन क्वेश्चन की आ, की मेथोडोलॉजी क्या होती है इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो द एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनर एंड सो ऑन सो फॉर्थ तो हम उस बारे में बात करेंगे जस्ट टू मेक श्योर यू नो वी गेट सम फीलर अराउंड इट एंड हमारी जो जो गैप है अंडरस्टैंडिंग का या जो हमें स्ट्रेंथ चाहिए फ्रॉम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ हैविंग द राइट लेवल ऑफ मोटिवेशन वो हमें मिल सके एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू नो वी कैन डिसाइड एंड ऑफ कोर्स डीप डाइव इनटू इट is that clear? Yes, sir. Once we have done that, then I do want to spend some time in terms of, you know, talking on in terms of what should be your approach if you want to kill out the US EP exam. You know, we at Fentram are, fu are fully, fully equipped in terms of, you know, what you really need from the examination standpoint. And we really want you to understand that what is the hidden mantra for killing the CP exam. So we'll talk on that just to make sure that we are able to give you, you know, our two cents on that. 
and towards the end we will certainly certainly try to take you know as many q you know questions as possible you know we do want to spend good amount of time in terms of q and a just to make sure that you completely have the answers as much as possible of the open open questions that you have is that clear yes sir all right now this is the the i would say the the right uh, segue of you know how we really want to be uncovering the content as to what the cpa curriculum is to offer now you know and of course you know to many of the folks have already done cpa exams and you must have spoken to them or you have been talking to them all of them might be saying that you know sirf bacche char exam hote hain us cpa mein aur wo aapko char exam hi dene hote hain sir 2024 mein kya ho gaya hai sir sir ab to hum sun rahe hain sir 6 exam aa gaye hain sir sir hame kitne exam dene honge sir sir wo jo exam honge wo kaun se honge sir wo hame 6 ke 6 dene honge sir and what not ye bahut sare doubts bahut sari confusion bahut sari queries mere paas aati hain and we thought that it is all the more important to uncover that us cpa mein pehle bhi char exam hote the अब भी चार एग्जाम ही हैं सो यू एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू नो दिस इज वेरी कॉमन यू नो फ्रॉम पीपल कमिंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड किसी को भी ज्यादा एग्जाम नहीं देने होते हैं प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्लीज नोट दैट कोट एंड कोट कंट्रोल बी कंट्रोल यू बॉस आपको सिर्फ चार एग्जाम ही देने हैं टू बिकम ए क्वालिफाइड सीपीए सर समझ में आता है सर बिल्कुल क्लियर है सर नो इट्स एन ईजी थिंग सर एंड ऑफकोर्स यू नो सर अच्छा भी लग रहा है सर सिर्फ सिर्फ चार ही देने हैं अच्छा तो ये छह सब्जेक्ट क्या है तो उस पर बात करते हैं अब यूएस सीपीए में तीन कोर सब्जेक्ट होने वाले हैं 2024 ऑनवर्ड्स तीन कोर सब्जेक्ट होंगे वो मैंडेटरी सब्जेक्ट्स होंगे सब बच्चों को वो तीन एग्जाम देने ही देने हैं और वो एग्जाम है ऑडिट का ऑडिट एंड अटेस्टेशन का विच इज लाइक दू नो वन ऑफ द एग्जाम इज ऑडिट एंड अटेस्टेशन एंड देन वी हैव द फिनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एंड रिपोर्टिंग वी कॉल इट फार सो वी हैव ए यू डी विच इज ऑडिट एंड अटेस्टेशन we have far which is financial accounting and reporting and then we have reg which is taxation and regulation ye teeno exam pehle bhi hote the ye teen exam aaj bhi hain aapko ye teeno exam dene padenge aur har bachcha jo cpa karne ki raah pe chal pada hai usko ye teen exam bacche dene hi dene hain ye mandatory exam hai there are no choices in it bilkul theek sir samajh mein aata hai sir aap to keh rahe the char exam hai ye to teen hi hai आ रहा हूं बेटा अभी उस पर भी आता हूं एक एग्जाम हो रहा है जो आपको चूज करना होगा आउट ऑफ थ्री डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम्स सो वॉट डेव डान पहले चार मैंडेटरी एग्जाम्स होते थे जो आपको देने होते थे अब उन चार को हटा कर उन्होंने तीन मैंडेटरी कर दिए और उन्होंने आपको तीन डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम्स दिए जिसमें आपको अब एक चूज करना है उन तीन डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम्स में से आप कोई भी एक एग्जाम चूज कर सकते हो और वो एग्जाम आपको देना है और आगे बढ़ चलना है ठीक है सर अब वो तीन डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम बताओ वो तीन डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम है बच्चे पहला एग्जाम है ऑफ कोर्स यू नो आई मैं सिर्फ क्रोनोलॉजी बोल रहा हूं बट वो एक्चुअली में सीपीए में कोई क्रोनोलॉजी फॉलो नहीं होती है आप कोई भी एग्जाम कभी भी दे सकते हो चाहे वो कोर हो चाहे वो डिसिप्लिन हो आपको कोई भी सीक्वेंस फॉलो नहीं करना होता है अब मैं डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम की बात करूं तो पहला एग्जाम है बच्चे बार द बिजनेस अनालिसिस एंड रिपोर्टिंग डीप डाइव करेंगे बट एक चीज जो एज ए लेमिनिस में आपको बताऊं बार एग्जाम बड़ा भाई है फार का हमने फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एंड रिपोर्टिंग में बहुत सारे कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़ने वाले हैं जो हम यूएस गैप से रिलेटेड पढ़ेंगे अकाउंटिंग से रिलेटेड पढ़ेंगे कंप्लाइंस से रिलेटेड पढ़ेंगे यू नो अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड से रिलेटेड पढ़ेंगे जनरली एक्सेप्टेड यू नो अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स यू नो अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल से रिलेटेड पढ़ेंगे वो सारे कॉन्सेप्ट जो हम बेसिक फार में करके आएंगे उसका थोड़ा सा एडवांस वर्जन एडवांस वर्जन और थोड़ा सा एक्स्ट्रा वर्जन आपको यू नो बार के अंदर मिलने वाला है और बाहर के अंदर आप काफी सारी बिजनेस स्टडीज या इकोनॉमिक्स या टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड एरियाज में भी पढ़ने वाले हो कमिंग ऑन टू गाइस यू नो यू नो व्हाट वी हैव एंड यू नो विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विद 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 द द डिसिप्लिन सब्जेक्ट एंड अगेन आई एम जस्ट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम यू नो फ्रॉम स्क्रैच इफ आई रियली टॉक ऑन अबाउट द डिसिप्लिन सब्जेक्ट देर आर थ्री डिसिप्लिन सब्जेक्ट आउट ऑफ विच यू हैव टू चूज वन हमने तीन कोर सब्जेक्ट देख लिए हैं वो तीनों कोर सब्जेक्ट हमें देने ही होते हैं मैंडेटरी हैं हमें सबको एग्जाम देना है बिल्कुल ठीक है सर समझ में आता है सर यू नो इट इज वेरी मच क्लियर अब हम आते हैं सर तीन डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम में यहाँ ये चॉइस एग्जाम है ये ऑप्शनल एग्जाम है जिसमें से आपको एक चूज करना होता है और वो एग्जाम आपको देना होता है 
किसी भी एग्जाम की यू में कोई भी क्रोनोलॉजी नहीं होती है या सीक्वेंस नहीं होता है आप कोई भी एग्जाम कभी भी दे सकते हो चाहे वो कोर लेवल का हो या डिसिप्लिन लेवल का हो आपको कोई भी सीक्वेंस फॉलो करने की जरूरत नहीं है इनफैक्ट आप डिसिप्लिन का भी एग्जाम पहले दे सकते हो अगर आप देना चाहते हो कोर से भी पहले यू नो दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल उसकी भी कोई समस्या यहां पर नहीं है बिल्कुल समझ में आता है सर कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है अब मैं बात करता हूं सर डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम की सर डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम है क्या अगर मैं बच्चे कॉन्टेक्स दू आपको डिसिप्लिन एग्जाम का तो जो एक एग्जाम है इसमें वो है बार बिजनेस एनालिसिस एंड रिपोर्टिंग अगर मैं इसे लेमिनिस्ट टर्म से बताऊं तो बिजनेस एनालिसिस एंड रिपोर्टिंग बेसिकली यू नो इज ए यू नो इज ए बिग ब्रदर ऑफ व्हाट यू हैव डन इन दी फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एंड रिपोर्टिंग जो फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एंड रिपोर्टिंग जो कि मेरा एक कोर सब्जेक्ट है उसमें बहुत सारा कॉन्टेंट मैं पढ़ने वाला हूं इन रिलेशन टू यूएस गैप द यूएस जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल्स मैं काफी सारे अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड पढ़ूंगा उनकी ट्रीटमेंट देखूंगा मैं फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग में उनकी इंप्लीकेशन देखूंगा मैं फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग देखूंगा वो कैसे करते हैं एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ जब मैं बाहर में आता हूं तो बाहर में मेरे बहुत सारे एडवांस्ड कॉन्सेप्ट उठ के आ गए हैं जो फार से हैं ऑफकोर्स कुछ एक्स्ट्रा कॉन्सेप्ट वहां एड किए गए हैं और बहुत सारा जो एम्फोसिस है वो गवर्नमेंटल अकाउंटिंग पे है एंड विल सी यू नो आई हैव ए सेपरेट स्लाइड टू डी टॉक ऑन दिस दैट इज अगेन समथिंग वट इज विच इज इज देर इन एडिशन टू दैट बार के अंदर हम बिजनेस एनालिसिस से रिलेटेड काफी सारी चीजें पढ़ेंगे जो कि बिजनेस स्टडीज और इकोनॉमिक्स में आपने काफी सारी ऑलरेडी पढ़ी हुई होंगी बिल्कुल ठीक है सर समझ में आता है सर इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम एंड कंट्रोल की अगर हम बात करें तो यहां हम ऑफकोर्स यू नो वी विल बी टॉकिंग मोर ऑन द डाटा मैनेजमेंट साइड द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम साइड विल बी टॉकिंग मोर ऑन द सिक्योरिटाइजेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाउ आर यू रियली सिक्योरिंग योर डेटा एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ सो आई एस सी एक वो सब्जेक्ट बन जाता है डिटेल स्लाइड आने वाली है विल टॉक ऑन डिटेल अराउंड इट एंड देन वी हैव दी टैक्स कंप्लायंस एंड प्लानिंग जैसे बार बच्चे आई वुड से इज ए इज ए बिग ब्रदर टू फार टी सी पी इज ए बिग ब्रदर टू the regulation and taxation exam or taxation and regulation exam as we want to call it ye exam basically aapko compliances ke bare mein batata hai chahe wo individual compliances ho chahe wo corporate compliances ho aap use kaise manage karoge kaise plan karoge and so on and so forth tcp is all around that in teen exams mein se ek choose karna hota hai aur aage badh chalna hota hai and that is what it is now what is really important of here is and you should certainly know this because many of the students really have this doubt in their mind is ki sir in discipline exam se main kaun sa exam choose karunga kya wo somehow impact karega mere licensing ke upar ya meri cpa certification ke upar absolutely no aap koi bhi exam choose karo aap cpa hi banne wale ho they have only given you an option ki aap in teen mein se ek exam de lo jo aapka interest area ho aapko kaun sa exam lena chahiye कौन सा एग्जाम आपके लिए रेलिवेंट रहेगा इट रियली डिपेंड्स ऑन यू नो वन ऑफ कोर्स योर इंटरेस्ट एरिया एंड टू ऑफ कोर्स योर बैकग्राउंड एंड थ्री ऑफ कोर्स यू नो व्हाट यू आर हैंडलिंग राइट नाउ इन योर इन योर कंपनी और व्हाट यू इंटेंड टू रियली मैनेज एज यू नो ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वी कैन रियली टॉक ऑन दैट यू नो वी डू वी डू दी वन ऑन वन मेंटरिंग ऑन दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो वॉट रियली वर्क वेल फॉर द फोक्स वी कैन रियली टॉक विद यू ऑल्सो ऑन दिस यू नो इन केस यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन डू पोस्ट आस डू रियली रीच आउट टू आस विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू हेल्प यूर दैट अब हम बात करते हैं डिटेल में इन टर्म्स ऑफ ये कोर सब्जेक्ट्स क्या है आई जस्ट वॉन्ट ऑफ स्पेंड टू डे टाइम आई फ्रेंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ डीप डाइविंग डीप डाइविंग इन टू ईच एंड एवरी आस्पेक्ट ऑफ सी पी ए करिकुलम अब हम बात करते हैं जो हमारे तीन कोर सब्जेक्ट हैं वो क्या है जो कि ऑडिट एंड अटेस्टेशन समझ में आता है सर फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग एंड रिपोर्टिंग बिल्कुल क्लियर है सर एंड टैक्सेशन एंड रेगुलेशन ये भी बिल्कुल क्लियर है सर अब हम बात शुरुआत करते हैं ऑडिट एंड एटेस्टेशन से कि सर ऑडिट में हम क्या पढ़ने वाले जैसे अगेन आई एम मोर टॉकिंग फ्रॉम द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ लेट्स ए पीपल हु हैव हैंडल ऑडिट इन इंडिया दे वुड हैव गॉन थ्रू दी यू नो द इंडियन ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड यू नो यू वुड हैव गॉन थ्रू यू नो वॉट यू रियली नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड यू नो वॉट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्ट अकाउंटेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया हैव बीन इशूइंग एज फार एज दी यू नो दिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड आर कंसर्न in the similar way you know in us you have generally accepted auditing principles you know or standards as you know want to call it you know these standards they call it us gas these standards are basically defining ki jab aap us mein audit karenge to you know how what kind of reports you need to issue what kind of uh, things that are to be mandated in those kind of reports what kind of opinion you would give what kind of preparation you need to have for the audit what kind of deliverables you have what kind of evidences that you really need to gather you know the corroborative evidence this evidence that evidence and so on so forth what kind of sampling you do and so on so forth wo sab kuch hum yahan padhne wale hain 
we will be getting into the details of each and every aspect of auditing in terms of understanding what exactly happens in the audit in the context of US as a geography. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I have broadly tried giving you the syllabus area of audit over here and then of course I have really spoken on in terms of you know what the weightage of that particular area is. So we certainly have good amount of emphasis being laid on on the ethics, professional responsibilities and general principles which an auditor has to follow over there. The approximate I would say weightage of this area is around 15 to 25 percent which is huge right. Then we have assessing the risk, the audit risk that you know that you as an auditor really goes through and of course you know what kind of risk you would face, what kind of response you really need to have, how you would develop that response and so on and so forth. That is again something which is very heavily tested you know in the exam and I would say the weightage of that is around 25 to 35 percent which is huge. Then we have you know uh, the areas in relation to the obtaining evidence, performing the audit procedures and of course you know thinking about you know what kind of further audit procedures that you really need to you know apply to ensure that you are able to perform all your duties as an auditor and that is where you know 30 to 40 percent weightage is in the exam. And last but not the least is the reporting aspect of it wherein you would be reporting on the, the, the audit report, what kind of report you really need to have, what kind of things that you really need to conclude on and what kind of things that you really need to report on and so on and so forth. That is the forming conclusion which is the last part of audit and having a weightage of around 10 to 20 percent. The exam is a four hour exam my friend and of course you know every exam in, 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 in CPA is a four, ex four hour exam and the kind of questions that you would get over there is there is a 50 50 percent split in terms of the weightage that they have you have 78 multiple choice questions in the audit exam from 2024 onwards and you have seven short task based simulation now what does this task based simulation they generally give you a case my friend in the exam which you really need to read and then basis that case they give you some questions which can be either mcq which is like you know four options you have to select one or some fill in the blanks or some calculative aspect and so on and so forth. So they would give you a case and the questions would be based on that particular case. If I compare that with the MCQs, each MCQ is a different MCQ which we have seen you know which, which is like 78 MCQs that you would see in the audit exam. So you would only have you know, a, you know, a, a question being asked and four choices being given to you and you have to click one over there. So you have 78 MCQs in the audit exam and seven task based simulation in the audit exam, 50% weightage is being allotted to each of them. What is the average time frame needed to complete the audit exam is approximately 10 to 12 weeks. You really need at least three months of time to really, you know, uh, I would say be, be spearheading on the audit as far as the content is concerned and that's what we always suggest. If I really have to showcase you, this is the latest audit book that has come up and of course you know Becker has revised all of the content and you know um, we are we are you know we we and I, I can tell you as a student of Becker as a faculty of Becker as an associate with Becker you know you know I would say closely knitted with Becker you know there is nothing better than the Becker content as far as the CPA is concerned and I'm sure you know when you will research it out you would certainly get to understand that. Ordinate registration you know the recent material the new materials are out and you know Fentram really has that in case you are thinking about starting and pursuing your USCPA, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to support you in your USCP journey. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Moving on to financial accounting and reporting. Another core subject, sir. Mandatory subject, sir. We have to give this, sir. The time taken is again 10 to 12 weeks, around three months of time. I would say if I really have to talk on the cost and pattern of this, there are approximately 50 MCQs, not approximately, 50 MCQs in the FAR exam that you really need to deliver and there are seven task based simulations in the exam having 50% weightage. So 50% of MCQs and 50% of the task based simulations. You have seven task based simulations in the exam. If you really want to be talking on the content, we understand that you know it is an accounting and reporting subject sir, it will be more on the US gap sir, that's the basic sir, we understand that. But if I really have to dwell down and of course get into the details, you know we have financial reporting which is around 30 to 40 percent of your total exam content and of course you know that is how the weightage is. Then you have the various I would say the financial statement accounts, the balance sheet accounts that you really need to be aware of in terms of the what really goes in over there, what kind of treatment you have, what kind of general entries you need to have, what kind of 
uh, you know, the accounting standards really says, the gap really says in relation to it, in terms of, you know, the disclosures, in terms of treatment and so on and so forth. All of that is very heavily tested. I would say 30 to 40 percent relates to that, which is huge, right? Yes, sir. Then comes my friend, you know, there are various transaction related accounting, you know, particularly on various US gaps that we'll be talking. All of those transactions are also being tested out, you know, in the exam, whether it is revenue, whether it is cost, you know, all of those transactions are being tested right from the treatment to the disclosures and you have around 25 to 35 percent weightage of this as a content. This is what the financial accounting and reporting curriculum, which is the latest one that you really need to know as far as the curriculum is concerned. Again, we have the new book of R being available. This is how it's going to be looking. It's it's now, you know, very, I would say it's very, it used to be like, you know, of this of a size and, you know, it used to be very, you know, huge in terms of size. Now they've really reduced it because they have moved some of the content of FAR into the bar. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Moving on, my friend, to the regulation and regulation and taxation. You know, we call it reg. Regulation and taxation, as I said, you know, it is more to do with the normal compliances that you really need to deal in in the US as far as the you know IRS is concerned you know you, you really need to know as to you know how you would be filing out return what kind of tax structures you have what kind of tax entities you have how you would be filing which kind of return and so on and so forth you have to know all of that and that's what is being covered over here as far as the regulation and taxation is concerned you get 72 MCQs in the exam as far as the regulation exam is concerned and eight task based simulations Weightage is 50-50%. 50% weightage goes to MCQs and 50% weightage goes to task-based simulations. Time taken is approximately 10 to 12 weeks. Again, three months of time is needed to really be prepared for regulation in the best possible way. Again, time can vary, my friend, in you know, in terms of you know what uh, you know what you're doing. If you're completely into it, you know, time can be small or, or less. And of course, if 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 you are you know doing a job and have a very limited amount of time you know you may, may may get to see that you need four months five months and so on and so forth but i'm on an average i'm saying you know three months is the time that you need in, a, in terms of you know really clearing this exam and move forward if you really have to distinguish in terms of you know what kind of aspects in this exam are being tested and what is the weightage for that you have the ethics professional and legal responsibilities you know, of a tax preparer, of a tax filer in the exam, you know, in the in the US, and that is being tested around 10 to 20 percent in the exam. You have the business law, which is more like, you know, the Sales of Goods Act, the Cotton Contract Act, and so on and so forth, more like, you know, normal, con you know, the business laws that we've seen. Again, you, they are being tested on, on the, you know, from the US parallel standpoint, where it is, is around 15 to 25 percent. Then we also have the federal taxation on the property transactions, on the individuals and on the entities in terms of understanding what kind of entities they have, what kind of taxes they are really exposed to, how they would be filing their return and so on and so forth. That is again being tested out here. If I really talk on the property and transactions, it is like 5 to 15 percent. If I really talk on individuals, it is huge, which is 22 to 32 percent. And if I really talk on entities, whether it is corporations, whether it is partnership and so on and so forth, it is again 23 to 33 percent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Weightage, as I already mentioned, it is 50-50% split it between MCQs and the simulations. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Alrighty. Moving on to the discipline subject. Yes, sir. Yes, sabse bada question hai, sir, humare paas ki ab teen discipline subjects ke andar kya hai, sir? Batao ge, tabhi bada lagega, sir, ki hume choose kya karna hai, sir. I think that will be really helpful, sir. So, chalo, deep dive karte hain. अब हम बात करेंगे बिजनेस एनालिसिस एंड रिपोर्टिंग की टाइम ऑफ कोर्स मुझे ऐसा लगता है आपको अराउंड थ्री मंथ्स लगेंगे इसको तैयार करने में वेटेज की बात करूं तो 50% परसेंट ऑफ द वेटेज इज टू दूज विच इज लाइक 50 एम सी क्यूज दैट यू विल सी इन द एग्जाम एंड देन यू हैव फोर टास्क बेस्ड सिमुलेशन एंड थ्री रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन स्किल क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम सर ये चीज नहीं आ गई सर सर एम समझ लिया सर सर टास्क बेस्ड सिमुलेशन भी समझ लिया सर रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन क्या है रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन भी एक केस केस की फॉर्मेट में ही आएगा बट यहाँ वो आपसे कुछ ना कुछ लिखवाता है यू नो ही मे आई वांट टू यू नो यू टू राइट अ लेटर और ए मेमो और एन ईमेल एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ जस्ट टू टेस्ट योर राइटिंग स्किल्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाउ प्रोफिशिएंट यू आर यू नो एज ए यू नो क्वालिफाइड सी हाउ यू वुड बी राइटिंग इन ओवर देयर जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू नो यू हैव दी यू नो द राइट लेवल ऑफ राइटिंग स्किल्स और कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एज फार एज दी सी एग्जाम इज कंसर्न अगर मैं सिलेबस सीरीज की बात करूं तो यू नो एज आई सेड इट इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ यू नो अगर मैं यू नो इफ आई रियली गो यू नो इन द इन द इन द यू नो आई वुड से इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट यूज्ड टू बी देयर इन सीपीए 
पहले uh, 2024 से पहले सी में एक सब्जेक्ट होता था बी द बिजनेस इन्वायरमेंट एंड कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत सारा कंटेंट इन्होंने बी से लिया है अप्रॉक्सीमेटली 50 परसेंट बी का कंटेंट है इसके अंदर जो कि बेसिकली नहीं कुछ नहीं है सिर्फ बिजनेस स्टडीज़ है या इकोनॉमिक्स है या टेक्नोलॉजिकल कॉन्सेप्ट हैं एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ वो सारा कॉन्टेंट यहाँ पर आ जाएगा कॉस्टिंग से रिलेटेड भी कुछ एरियाज हैं स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ वो सारा एरिया यहाँ पर आएगा एंड दैट इज़ वॉट दी बिजनेस अनालिस इज ऑल अबाउट and see the weight is again 40 to 50% so effectively 40 to 50% is nothing but you know your basics of costing the economics the demand supply equilibrium perfect competition monopolistic competition and so on and so forth and of course some of the concept from the bc or the control aspect side is that clear yes sir then 35 to 40% is technical accounting and reporting remember ye far ka bada hai hai to far ka kuch kuch concept ya kuch kuch accounting standard yahan aa gaye hain jo specific advanced you know gap they you know they have picked up and of course bought it here and that is again something that you want to look for and of course last but not the least is the governmental accounting governmental accounting used to be part of far earlier but now they have moved under the bar you really need to know governmental accounting if you really have to know bar is what you really need to have from the examination standpoint 10 to 20% is the weightage char ghante ka exam hai ye to main pata hi hai sir sare exam char ghante ke hain and we know that you know 50 mcqs hain चार टास्क पे सिमुलेशन हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स थ्री रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन के टास्क हैं एक्जैक्टली यस सर एक चीज मैं बता देता हूं यू नो विच आई एम श्योर यू नो सम ऑफ यू माइट नॉट बी अवेयर बट दिस इज द ओनली एग्जाम वेर एन यू वुड सी 50 टू 60 परसेंट ऑफ द कंटेंट फॉर एनी इंडियन स्टूडेंट टू बी ऑलरेडी अवेयर ऑफ यू नो यू वुड हैव सीन द कॉन्टेंट इन दिस एनी विच वे इन योर ग्रेजुएशन और योर एम बी एर बी बी ए सो फ्रॉम दी फेमिलियरिटी स्टैंड पॉइंट काफी सारी चीजें आपके लिए फेमिलियर हो जाती हैं एग्जैक्टली यस सर कमिंग ऑन टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम एंड कंट्रोल एंड डो नॉट फॉर गेट गाइज दिस इज दिसिप्लिन एग्जाम बार आई एस सी टी सी पी में से मुझे एक चुनना है बार के बारे में मैंने सुन लिया है आई एस सी पी में आया हूं आई एस सी क्या होता है सो लेट्स टॉक ऑन दैट टू और राइट इफ यू रियली टॉक ऑन आई एस सी इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम एंड कंट्रोल इट इज बेसिकली नथिंग बट यू नो टॉकिंग ऑन द सिस्टम कंट्रोल्स टॉकिंग ऑन टॉकिंग ऑन इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो वॉट यू रियली नीड टू नो फ्रॉम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ फ्रॉम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ डेटा मैनेजमेंट डेटा सिक्योरिटाइजेशन एंड ऑफकोर्स काइंड ऑफ रिस्क एंड द कंट्रोल इशूज एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर फेटिंग फेसिंग राइट नॉट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम If you really have to detail out in terms of you know what it really covers, the information systems and data management is around 35 to 45 percent weightage. The security, confidentiality, and privacy is around 35 percent to 45 percent. The consideration for the systems and the organizational control is around 15 to 25 percent. This exam might need less amount of time, considering that you know syllabus area is not that huge. So eight to ten week is something that we expect that you would really need it to have. 82 MCQs in the exam and six task-based simulation is something that you really need to be be looking forward to. And guess what? There is one change over here, which is that the MCQs are 60% weightage in terms of you know the uh, how the examiner would value it, and the task-based simulations are 40% over here. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So effectively, this is the only subject wherein the MCQs has have more weightage. and you know simulation has less 60% mcqs and 40% task based simulations is that clear yes sir moving on to the tcp the tax compliance and planning tax compliance and planning as i said is nothing but you know sort of an elder brother to the regulation and taxation as we really spoke and that is what it really means अगर मैं सिलेबस एरिया की बात करूं फ्रॉम द टीसीपी स्टैंड पॉइंट वी हैव टैक्स कंप्लायंस एंड प्लानिंग फॉर द इंडिविजुअल हैविंग 30 टू 40 परसेंट पेचेज वेर एन वी विल आल्सो लर्निंग द पर्सनल फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग फ्रॉम द यूएस स्टैंड पॉइंट दैट इज अराउंड 30 टू 40 परसेंट वेटेज इन द टीसीपी we will also be seeing the entity tax compliances the tax planning from the entity stand point that is having a weightage of 30 to 40% from the compliance stand point from the planning stand point 10 to 20% and of course last but not the least is the property transactions it is more to do with the disposal of you know assets that you would have over there kind of tax treatment that you would have 10 to 20% is that is that is the weightage for the same what is really important and imperative over here to really understand is that this is more technical from the taxation standpoint so any and everybody who is having huge amount of interest in the us tax i think this is something that is there for you 
if if you are not somebody like me who is having you know that much amount of interest in tax then this is not your cup of tea it's a four hour exams we have 68 mcqs having 50% weightage and seven task based simulations having 50% weightage in the exam so effectively it is again a combination of multiple choice questions and the task based simulations is that clear yes sir now this effectively gives you the context my friend in terms of you know what these syllabus areas are and of course you know by now we have already seen in terms of you know what what kind of exam pattern us cp has which is nothing but the multiple choice questions we know that sir a question aata hai sir uski char answer choices hoti hain sir hame ek click karna hota hai sir bilkul clear hai sir koi problem hi nahi hai then we have the task based simulations sir ek case study aati hai sir us case study ke upar hame kuch questions puche jate hain chahe wo fill in the blanks ho match the following ho ya yeah, sir kahin na kahin कोई हमें मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन दे देगा या सर हमें राइटिंग स्किल्स पे भी पूछ लेगा जो कि सिर्फ बार में है जो हमें मेमो या लेटर या हमें कोई ईमेल लिखनी हो सकती है इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो शोइंग आर राइटिंग स्किल्स बिल्कुल क्लियर है सर एग्जाम पैटर्न भी क्लियर हो गया सर सब्जेक्ट भी क्लियर हो गए सर ये भी समझ में आ गया सर कि इन सब्जेक्ट्स के अंदर क्या चीज पूछी जाएगी उनकी कितनी वेटेज है सर बिल्कुल क्लियर है सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर आई एम लविंग यू माई फ्रेंड फॉर दैट इफ यू थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू अचीव if you think that we have been able to get to the roots of the issues that you really had in your mind do press the like button just to make sure that you are understanding it ek like to banta hai because that really motivates me that the purpose for which i am here at least i am able to satisfy that is that clear yes sir moving on to what should be your approach for this exam now this is something i can say it is your approach and this is something that you know we as fintram and we as becker really recommend in terms of you know what should be your approach and this is what we really do you know with all the you know proud fintramers that we have around the globe in terms of people who have really cleared cpas and have been working in various multinationals this is the approach that they have really followed what you really need is the best in class you know i would say the content first and of course the sessions first and there is no better name than becker on to it and you know we are the you know the, the closely knitted partners with you know on, on on you know as as far as the becker is concerned so you know anything and everything in relation to becker you would say you know you would really get it, get on with us you can just reach out to us and you will get the latest content and the study material and the books and of course latest sessions from the becker you know what you really need it from the standpoint of clearing the exam in the best possible way but guess what This is not the end of the day, my friend. What we also offer is that Fintram gives you the live sessions. You know, while you have the recorded sessions available for you, you know, from Becker, and you know, that is any which way is available to you. What we also offer is that we offer also offer you the weekend sessions on the CPA curriculum, and that is being delivered by you know, I would say all. you know i would say uh, qualified cpa faculties who are specifically being chosen by me just to make sure that you know they are able to give you the best of the best content we have the live online sessions running on weekends in addition to that we also do revision boot camps where we practice various questions just to give you the color in terms of you know how the examiner would throw out question at yourself and if you really get to see something like that what should be and what has to be your strategy to kill that so you get the best in class live in, you know online interactive sessions you get the you know you'll get the self paced lms from becker and of course you know even with the live sessions that we provide we also provide you the recording of those live sessions so in case you miss any you would not be able to, you know at loss remember one thing my friend that you uh, in 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 order to do well you know you really have to practice you know as many questions as possible in the exam and that is where you know becker elements really plays a big time role over there because you have thousands of questions over there to really practice including the simulations to really see through as to where you are and since it is you know artificial intelligence based model it really tells you and prompt you how prepared you are from the examination standpoint and that is the beauty of it and that is what you will be getting in addition to that what we also you know uh, ensure that you know you, you get and of course you know you need also is the um, you know i would say the the hand holding in terms of you know your evaluation as a process so there is a dedicated team working day in and day out in terms of student evaluation because there is a huge amount of effort that really goes on in terms of evaluating your credentials and of course reaching out to nasba ves wherever in terms of getting your credentials evaluated so that you can really sit for your your, your cp exam and that is what you know the team over here is sitting out for you and helping out you on day to day day you know day in and day out basis 
In addition to that, you would also get the mock exams with the, you know, with the evaluation also. LMS really offers that. So that is again something that a big plus. And then of course, student resolution process, doubt resolution process is any which way is working. We are also having, you know, dedicated WhatsApp groups where, and you know, many of the uh, test questions are also being circulated on routine basis just to make sure that you are having a hang of it in terms of, you know, what you should be doing if you get to see something like that in the exam. Is that clear? Yes, sir. And that's what, you know, Becker and Fintram together really offers. And that's what really makes us distinguished in terms of the offering that we really brings onto the table. And that is one of the reasons for our success, my friend. That is one of the reasons the proud Fintramers are working, you know, working across the globe in various companies and, of course, doing what they're doing. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, that's what I really wanted to cover, my friend, from the curriculum standpoint. I hope this session was useful to you. I'm inviting you to one another session that is coming your way, wherein I, I will be going through in detail you know, the, you know, and taking you to the live ride or a demo of the LMS that we, that we are offering. You know, it, it is certainly coming your way. So, you know, in case you're looking forward to it, do subscribe to our channel just to make sure that, you know, in case we come up live, you know, you can be there and, you know, you, you, you will be intimated accordingly and you can be there and be, and be part over there. So we will be, you know, maybe in a week next or so, we will be coming up with a session wherein we'll do a live demo of, you know, what the LMS is going to be looking like and how helpful it is going to be to you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, this effectively brings me to the, to the end, my friend, you know, and this, this slide really tells you a lot, um, you know, in terms of, you know, the, 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 and of course, if you see the watch, you'll get to understand that, you know, we really want you to ask questions as many as possible. So in case guys, anyone has any question, just, you know, start posting it on chat. We'll be more than happy to pick it up. Any question guys, anyone has? What is the total class fee, sir? Yeah, I, I would say, you know, the FinTram team, you know, you can reach out to FinTram team. I would request somebody from FinTram team to really post our number over here. If you can really post our number and the contact details, I think, you know, uh, folks can reach out to, to you to really, you know, get all the details from yourself. I have any which way is provided you number over here, you know, you can reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to, you know, support you in whatever way possible. This slide also has have my WhatsApp number. So in case you are looking forward to something like that, please reach out. Which session should, you know, which uh, section should be the first one for killing the CPA exam? I think, you, you know, that really depends on, you know, who, uh, you know, what you're doing and what is your background. But generally speaking, you know, people pick up, you know, FAR or pick up, people pick up, you know, and start off with audit. I think that's, that's the starting point for any, any new student who really comes up and of course start a journey. But surely, you know, we are not starting off, we, we do not recommend anybody starting off with the discipline subject because you need time to, you know, to understand that, you know, which discipline subject you would be choosing on. So you have to start with the core and out of the core, I think, uh, far and uh, and uh, audit are the ones who can who you can really you know look forward to does that helps akriti Anybody else, guys? Any question anyone has? Thank you, Akriti. Thanks for that. Ozama, you can reach out to the number I have provided over here, and I think team will be able to help you out in terms of you know what should be your next steps. Anybody else, guys? Anything I can help you out with? I'll be more than happy to really support you there. Guys, we still have, I think we are just on time, but I'm okay to spend, you know, a couple of more minutes in case anybody has any question.
So Alina says, how many credits for MBA? So if you are a graduate and an MBA, uh, Alina, then you straight away qualifies to really sit for the CPA exam. Um, you can reach out to the Fentram evaluation team, you know, and get your free evaluation done. They can really help you and confirm you in terms of, you know, that will you be eligible or not. But, you know, prime of AC, you will be certainly eligible and you can really start your, your CPA journey right away. So Arushi says, what is the best book to study the CPA exam? Arushi, my friend, there is nothing better than the Becker, my friend. Becker is the content. If you, if you, you know, if you really want to clear CPA in the first attempt, it is the content. There is nothing better than Becker as far as the content is concerned. And you can uh, go and vouch that across the world. Testimony to that fact is that there are many CPAs have already qualified and they're doing what they're doing. It is all because of Becker and Fintram. So do not forget that. Reach out to them and take the right decision for yourself. Will there be additional case studies or real world scenarios incorporated into 2024 Becker CPA material? That have already been done, my friend. We have already incorporated what was needed. We have already incorporated what is really expected by the AICPA. So everything in relation to that has been done, Alok. Do not get worried on that. You have the content what you really need in terms of killing this exam in the best possible way. You just have to adhere to what is being suggested to you as a, as a process or as a philosophy. Just follow that. Just follow the, you know, I would say the steps that will be that will be told to you when you will enroll and of course will be guiding you all throughout your CPA journey in terms of you know achieving the CPA qualification in the best possible way. Does that help Alok? Arushi, does it help? All right, thank you. All right, so you know that's really you know brings me to the to the stage wherein guys you know we will wrap up this session. I have already provided you my number over here in case you want to reach out to me or to Fintram. Do reach out to us, you know, and we'll be more than happy to help you in your CPA journey just to make sure that you get the best of the best content and of course best of the best advice to really kill the exam in the best possible way. Because together we'll certainly certainly ace the CPA exam. Together we'll ace it. Do not forget, my friend. Do not forget, my friend, CP Bolito, Fintra. I'll see you there, my friend, in the next one. Till then, this is Pankaj Dingra, signing off.